What up, Tech Easy Gamers? It's your boy Jermaine with Tech Toys and Gaming. Welcome back to my channel if it's your 50th time, and welcome if it's your first time. And in today's video, I have a nice piece of tech for you, for all you vloggers, for all you desktop PC gamers, Xbox gamers, PlayStation gamers, <laughs> hey, even in this day and age, mobile gamers, right? You possibly can find a way to connect one of these devices to your mobile devices, iPad, iPhone, Android phone. And the device is the AM25 microphone that I have right here. That Catch it with my own. But the AM25 microphone by Advanced and Tech Easy Gamers. Take a look at this little gadget right here, right? And as you notice, uh, I have not yet opened this device up. So this is gonna be brand new experience for me as well as it is for you. So in typical fashion, if you've been following my channel, you've been watching a lot of my videos, you will see that I have quite a few microphones. So uh, we're gonna put this through a little bit of the ringer, right? We're gonna take it and give it some sound testing, see what the quality's like, checking the pop filter, checking the hisses, right? Because a lot of these microphones can have all these little quirks and things that can make it sound either crappy or snappy, right? That's cool. What? So at the time of this video, this is coming in at a hot $56.99, $57. However, if you go ahead and cop it now, if you get to see this video fast enough, there's actually a 40% coupon on Amazon. So I would advise if you're looking at this right now, techies, gamers, technophiles, click the link and you can check out with a 40% coupon. What's 40% of $57? That is like $30 off, something like that, 25. I don't know, it's a lot of money. So um, I would jump on this. Uh, but first let's take it to the ringer and let's see if it's even worth spending even that much, $25, $30, right? So let's see, take it to the game. Let's jump into it right now. Hi, take it to the game. For this demonstration, I'm going to give a live unboxing just to give you my reaction of what comes in the box and you can see in real time uh, what it is and if it's any different. Actually, this is a magnetic cover. You can just pop the magnet open like that, take it to the game. So let's see what we get right off the rip. Uh, is the manual, which it should be first and foremost. So that way you know what you're doing before you start digging into your technology and break it. As you've seen in typical fashion in a lot of my videos, uh, we don't do the manual thing unless it's an emergency. So right now we're going to take this, twist it this way and shut up. All right, underneath the manual, we have a set of devices all wrapped in plastic, which is good. Keep it nice and safe. Thank you, Advanson, for taking care of this technology. It has a nice little foam cover to cover the top. So they take care of their stuff. Cool. Points already off the rip. Uh, all right, so let's just go through some of the stuff, pulling it out the plastic. Let's throw that to the side because it's trash but not leave it in the shop. You have your windshield, Tech Easy Gamers, of course, all windshields, most of them when I open boxes for my, are pretty crushed, right? Pretty squashed, but all good in the hood. It, it shakes, it, <laughs> it takes shape uh, once you actually put it onto your microphone, kind of forms itself properly. Uh, all right, and then and another piece of plastic is tape plastic because I can't get it out. Tech Easy Gamers, why there is a separate screw? I have no idea, a uh, little nut there. Separate nut. USB-C to USB-A. Technically, gamers, a lot of the microphones that I've been getting have been incorporating the USB-C technology. Kudos to Avanson. More stuff wrapped in plastic. Ooh, this is nice and shiny. Look at the shine on that, Technically, gamers. Nice little glossy, uh, kind of a glass finish there. I like that. All right, cool. Uh, and it is heavy, right? So. That is made so that it does not tilt over and keep its balance. And last but not least is dun, 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 the microphone itself. Ooh, this looks kind of sweet. I like the way that matte plays off of the gloss there. Look at the matte versus the gloss. It does tilt on this U-shaped stand, which is pretty sturdy. It's not loose at all. So you can pretty much position it however you want. So I would assume that the diaphragm is here in the front and on the top, there is also mesh, so we'll test out which way the actual diaphragm is facing, most likely the front because it is forward firing. All right, take it to the game. So with that said, we are done with this box here. We can slide that to the side. Oh, looking at it off of the rip, this looks like it just actually goes right through the base itself. Um, you don't screw the mic onto it, though you do see a little screw hole there. Um, it looks like the microphone probably just goes through it, right, sits flat and flush. And this little nut that comes separate, right, in the bag, is something you're probably gonna screw on to the bottom. I got it mounted, no tools needed. USB-C to USB-A, it is about, uh, just about arm's length. Look, I can actually get it in the shot here. Looking here on the front of the device, let's go through what we have in terms of buttons. 
looks like we have a volume up, volume down button, and we have a mute button. So there is awesome capabilities happening here on the fly and live with this microphone. A lot of the microphones, I don't have the option to do more. <laughs> Some of the microphones I had did have a mute button or a gain. There were a couple that had mute and gain. So this actually comes with a uh, gain as well as mute. And on the bottom, we have a USB-C port as well as an audio jack, right? An audio jack for live monitoring. Let's go ahead and plug this up, connect it to our computer, see what we're working with, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it into the USB-C port on the bottom. We're going to unknot the cable first because I made a knot somehow. Now, let's just go ahead and plug this into my computer in typical fashion. I just throw it and it connects. <laughs> and just like that, it's connected to my computer because I am that great. And you have your windshield. Let's see how this fits on here. Should fit fine because it is, of course, designed for this, even though it's a little crushed. Quite a snug fit, this little uh, windshield. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my headphones so we can do a live testing with this and see what we're working with now, I am using wireless uh, lapel mic right now, and I guess we could kind of use this as a gauge of how well this sounds. Hopefully it sounds much better, right? So let's jump into that. Let me grab my headphones. I'm gonna teleport into my headphone set and we'll get started. <laughs> All right, here we go, taking the gamers. So uh, I am already connected to this headset and I have my headphones going into the audio jack for live monitoring on the bottom of this device. All right, Techies and Gamers, we are live and in effect, and we have just straight up jumped into this Avancen mic. Ooh, that nice little, I can hear that in my monitoring. I feel like it's a little bit of like a, uh, I don't know, a little hollow kind of sounding, uh, a little bit of, um, I don't know if it's the mid-tones or something that's a little low, but um, it does sound a little hollow, but very clear, I will say. The audio sounds very sweet. I do have the gain down. I don't, well, I can't tell what level the gain is. There's no indicator here on the microphone itself. I have it all the way down. It's pretty low. It's pretty low on the mic, right? So that's the base. That's how low it goes. There are about 25 clicks till you get to the max. AM 25? I don't know if that's a relative thing, but I clicked it 25 times and I got it to 100% uh, on the base. Not having done any settings or any kind of changes on my PC, on OBS, just raising the volume here to 100%, um, and it is not clipping. So it is not gonna pick up really heavily like some other microphones where it just instantly starts clipping because it just comes in really loud and sensitive. So this isn't too sensitive, but it's kind of like right in the sweet spot, sensitive enough. Talking at this distance, it sounds very clear and loud in my headphones. I am at a decent level here. I'm going right past the yellow, tagging, just tipping into the red. But even if I talk loud, it's, it doesn't clip at 100% volume, techies and gamers. So the hiss is there. There's things you can do to actually do uh, audio editing on your software, post editing to eliminate a lot of that hiss. So hiss is not typically something I'm too concerned about unless it's just like overbelm overwhelming. What the heck is that? Overbearing or overwhelming. So this is actually um, in the good zone. I can actually eliminate a lot of that. The bass. The bass is... The bass is not that boomy. It could use a little bit of boost in bass as well in post editing. So, um, so it's like kind of like more on the mid to higher tones in terms of what it picks up more or less. Let's leave this off for a second, and we're gonna go into some pop filtering, right? With peas, all right. Take it to the gamers. So, uh, popping pimples presently provides much professional propositions. What? Peas and popping doesn't really get picked up so much on these pebbles. Pebbles? I'm just making up words now. Very sweet on the pop filtering. So I don't have to worry about your peas getting uh, any kind of distortion. Not too much anyway. I have not applied any noise filtering, noise canceling, but we're going to go ahead and do that right now. I right, take it to the game. So right now we are going to apply noise suppression in three, two. Shh, you hear that? That little blowing sound? That's my HVAC and my PC fans as well. So you got some noise going on, so you can hear that, but we're gonna go ahead and apply some noise suppression in three, two, one, and you have noise suppression. Techies and gamers. Now, I'm looking at my levels now on my PC. Now, if I stay quiet, shh, I say shh like you're talking, no noise techies and gamers. And this is the audio quality with a little bit of noise suppression done. To this microphone all right so let's go ahead and push this mic back all right so this is a short distance test 
let's take off that noise suppression real quick. All right, Techies and Gamers, so I have taken off the um, noise suppression off of this microphone, and you should be able to hear what it sounds like at three foot distance, <laughs> at a three foot distance. Um, of course, you're getting reverb, a little bit of echo, sounds like I'm down a hallway because this room is not treated with any kind of sound treatment, so um, this is what it's going to sound like. Let's turn this microphone around. And this is what it sounds like three feet away uh, with the microphone facing away from me. So uh, may do a little bit of noise cancellation. You'll pick me up very low, but it's cardioid. It's cardioid, so it'll pick up just a little bit. And also my audio, my voice is you know, bouncing off of these walls. So it's going to bounce right back into the front of it from the other side. So I'm going to put back the noise filtering because I want you to get a feel for what you're going to actually be buying, right? Techies and gamers, we want to make smart buying decisions in our life. All right, noise suppression, done. We want our money to be well spent on the things we purchase for our upgrades mm -hmm. and for our leisure time and for careers, right? You want to be professional, you want to sound professional. These are the kind of things you want to look into. Anyway, noise suppressed, and we're having a good audio quality going on here. I went ahead and checked some of the audio sounds uh, on my PC, and when I played the audio over my PC, um, I was able to hear PC audio, any computer audio. Uh, I was playing a video playback, and it routes through the microphone, techies and gamers. Uh, I'm doing live monitoring, so whatever's happening is going through USB-C and the microphone is actually pushing PC computer audio out to me. So what that means, techies and gamers, is that I can just have this connected to my PC. And if I'm using it for desktop gaming, PC gaming, Xbox gaming, this will put the game audio through my headset into my head. This is awesome. All right, techies and gamers. And with that said, um, I will say that this would be a decent buy for whatever purpose you're going to use it for for vlogging if you're having like headshots like this you're doing podcasting uh gaming this is a very good microphone to use for those purposes now is it for singing i don't know i'm not a singer but i will say that it may be lacking it'd be a little bit of a lackluster on the bass side so if you're just doing kind of i don't know i guess talk show podcasting uh that's not a deal breaker. You can actually add that in post. There is enough bass so that when you actually uh, do some video editing, you can pump up just enough bass. So it's enough of those um those waves in there to uh to manipulate and edit. Like this, techies and gamers. So I just made a big emphasis because I made a switch in my software just to show you that this could sound really really good uh, with a little bit of editing, adding some bass, reducing some of those hisses, suppressing the noise you can get professional quality out of this the range i would probably prefer to use this is uh right about here about a foot away or even less if you can get it up high right because when this microphone is right here this is where the quality shines all right take it to gamers so if you found this video to be very informative you got some value and it gave you some buying power whether or not this microphone works for you go ahead and like subscribe uh let me know that this gives you value as usual appreciate you coming by appreciate any technology that i get from any companies you guys rock and with that i'll see you in my next video my next jumpy jacks and the next time i dive in some snow because it's snowstorm today right i don't know what later